The phase apocalypse is here. Phase Banks is off the Addy again, and he's decided to kick like everyone in in, in phase except a select few people. Now, if you don't remember the phase clan drama that went down last year, basically a bunch of people like Ray, Tico, Blaziken all came out and they were like, hey, something is up with phase clan we we don't even know if we're in phase clan we're not making any money they made this crazy decision to put phase clan on the stock market and now phase clan is is kind of dying it's going downhill they're recruiting people like snoop dog this isn't phase clan this isn't what we signed up for and there seemed to kind of be a little bit of a fallout between rain and and banks even though banks was kind of saying yeah i i agree with what rain's saying here phase is kind of fucked right now but i'm gonna get things back together i'm gonna fix this shit and well, it looks like the day of reckoning has finally come because FaZe Clan has officially announced their new roster. So these are basically like all the people that they're keeping, Adapt, Apex, Banks. I mean, these are all the founders. I don't really think they can they could kick them. Although if you notice, you don't see Tico on here. You don't you don't see Rain on here. I don't know if that means Tico was, was already kicked out of FaZe Clan. I don't know. But all I'm gonna say is Tico, Tico has the vibes. If Banks wants the OG vibes back, bring back Tico. <laughs> Why kick Tico? Jev, Jev is safe. There was a lot of people saying if Jev is kicked, we riot because Jev, he's like the one dude, the one OG dude who stuck to his fucking roots. This dude has been playing cards every day for like years at this point he's the only guy who's actually kept up an audience who's actually continued to upload who didn't let the money go to his head who didn't scam his fans who didn't get involved with crypto or or, or gambling or any of this bullshit he's just a dude who plays games and and i think that's why the fans really love and and vibe with with jeb because the guy just kind of does his own thing you know he stays out of the drama nick Merckx, unfortunately that guy's also a partial owner of a face clan i do not like nick Merckx. so yeah these are basically all the guys that are are still in in face clan and everyone else is kicked i don't know if that also means like all the pro players and stuff because i'm pretty sure face clan has a bunch of like esports leagues i don't know if they're part of this if they're also getting kicked or if this is just the content creator side i'm guessing this is most likely the content creator side i don't i don't know i i doubt face would drop like all their esports teams like that banks replies with adapt apex banks jev Kaysen, nick Merckx, and yeah these are all the people everyone else is out this is the new phase clan roster <laughs> phase reigns like no sea bass so uh, apparently people are saying that phase Rain, he didn't get kicked. He just kind of quit, but he's obviously still a part of Phase Phase Clan. He's still kind of hanging around a little bit. It seems like. I mean, as you can see, Rain's still pulling off some trick shots to this day. It may be a shitty game, but he's still doing it. He still got it. Now there has been a lot of drama, uh, of course, coming fr from this whole thing because the way that these people were were let go, they just kind of feel like shafted. You know, they've been repping Phase Clan for, for years. Some of these people for for a decade. Phase Blaze of course one of the og phase members got kicked he he got kicked out of phase clan and to be fair the dude took it pretty well and he basically made this video saying you know he will always love phase clan and, and he was glad to be a part of it in the first place and that he's working on his new his new like chocolate brand he's he's got that shit in walmart now okay he's going to walmart <laughs> And I mean, obviously, Blaze's, you know, numbers aren't up to really what they used to be. The only content that's actually done well has has been him talking about FaZe Clan. Everything else has been pretty like mid. It's pretty clear he doesn't he doesn't get the numbers anymore. So it makes sense why FaZe would, would kick him. But still, it kind of sucks that Banks ended up kicking like a lot of OG people. A lot of people who've been repping FaZe Clan since the start. I mean, there was this person here, FaZe Kaylee, who honestly, I never really heard of. But apparently she's like a, a like a pro or, or like Warzone streamer who's, who's been streaming Warzone since like the beginning. She's been repping FaZe Clan for years. You know, she's basically upset that she put like so much into the brand and they just drop her like she's nothing. Of course, Grace ended up getting kicked from FaZe as well, which isn't really a surprise. I mean, there's that whole drama with her. Of course, they would decide to kick her too. People trashing Kaylee for being upset about FaZe kicking her, bashing on her as if she never did anything anything for FaZe or wasn't one of the most watched and active Warzone streamers for the past three years is wild. Can't tell who's real or who's just a bot on Twitter anymore. So of course, there's been a lot of people going around being like, why are you mad? Why are you mad you got kicked from FaZe, dude? No one knows you, bro. No one knows who you are, man. Deal with it. It's like, yeah, people are going to be mad. You know, that's just a team, a, a, a brand that, that they repped 
for for years and just to kind of get dropped out of nowhere i think that would make anyone pissed off especially since like having phase in your name at least it used to be this this used to be like a something that you would strive for it used to like mean a lot and i think that is part of the reason why banks is has kicked so many people because he wants to bring back what phase used to mean if you were a part of phase that means you were part of the elite you were either a good content creator or you were good at the fucking game now it just kind of means that you're like a celebrity i get i don't i don't really know i don't i don't know what phase stands for i just know back in the day i saw phase i was like oh my god phase there's a phase guy in the, in the lobby what the heck now phase banks on the other hand um on the first three of these things this guy has basically rebranded to to a crypto youtuber i i guess oh my boy hey listen his hit rate is crazy too as important as it is and so like this guy hasn't uploaded in years right after the whole tfue drama he just he just fucking dipped now no one can question banks's influence i mean when he created cloud gang that shit took over the fucking internet okay but banks has been irrelevant over the last couple years except for his like crypto shit uh, allegedly scamming people now he claims he's never really scammed people but i think the whole industry in of itself is is a scam like i just think crypto and nfts like they're scams they hold no utility the whole point of like crypto and nfts is to make money right and how you make money is you be someone like phase banks and you tell your fans to buy into this crypto and then you sell it and i just think that that's immoral that that is fucked up if you're gonna build something like this it has to have utility it has to have a purpose it can't just be fucking this fucking monkey or whatever this thing is i don't know what the fuck that is but this serves no utility it's just a fucking picture and he, he promotes this shit to his fans and i think that's fucked up i don't i don't fuck with that shit and a lot of people Seem to not really fuck with that shit. Now, Banks obviously has not been handling the criticism well, and he says, fuck them all. Couldn't have said it better myself. What does it say about how Blaze reacted versus how some of these random little clout chasing rats are reacting? We didn't even recruit you. Some fucking weirdo did. See ya, bitch. This is a reboot, which I kind of respect, but also a bit fucked up. Like, you know, you should understand what it's like to be kicked from FaZe Clan. You, you were kicked at your fucking worst. And you should understand what, what it's like to, to care about something like this and just have it ripped away from you out of nowhere. So I understand other people's perspectives, but at the same time, maybe, maybe this is what FaZe Clan needs, you know, to go back to its roots. For FaZe to mean something, the New York FaZe house is honestly something that can never be replicated again. And I don't think FaZe Clan could even replicate it again because it was real. It was genuine. You're, you're never going to have that uh, again you know just bros hanging out in a house they weren't necessarily like rich you know they, they were all on the come up some of these people didn't even have like money for food at the time they put their all into this in into this dream and that's something that you don't get anymore you know you get something like the clout house and it's just a bunch of millionaires living in like a multi-million dollar mansion that's not what people want people can't relate to that they could relate to the old face house so i don't necessarily think that they're ever gonna be able to like replicate that feeling again but they might be able to bring some sort of phase house or your phase clan back to what it used to be i don't know we'll see a lot of people are criticizing banks over his whole crypto bullshit and he's of course not very receptive to that but there's a reason people don't fuck with this crypto nft shit and banks needs to understand that i saw him like replying to people being like yeah crypto gaming is the future it's like what do you mean all these companies they tried they tried to do their whole crypto bullshit and they all got shed on so he's like saying here the internet has changed as in it's scaled at max at minimum 10 times probably closer to 100 times x since pico face house new york city more viewers more users more gamers more time spent consuming internet content so scaling should be an issue phase was its biggest peak fortnite and when i was vlogging peak vibes new york forever but as far as numbers fortnite era so again you're a fucking idiot crypto gaming is going to be a significant pillar of the digital future and it's going to take a game like gta to participate or for fuck faces like you to accept it and he's basically comparing to people who are like oh video games will never be a career or, or whatever like no these are not the same banks one's a scam okay at least when people were making content or playing video games they were actually doing something it's like loot boxes dude you know you can say yeah all oh, these big games are gonna start adopting loot boxes but everyone hates loot boxes for a reason because they're scams that doesn't mean that every creator should start <laughs> pumping out loot boxes although your best friend your best friend rice gum seemed to do that anyway yeah let's see let's see what the future of a phase clan holds i don't know i'm kind of i'm kind of wary around this whole crypto shit that the banks is into i think as long as he kind of keeps that away from the phase clan things will go smoothly but like once he starts putting that crypto shit back in like no one wants to fuck with that dude especially when your your clan has a history of scamming people in crypto they, they have a history of of propping up gambling sites and, and other bullshit like this make your money legit do something fucking legit make content anyway these are just my thoughts on this entire situation
If you guys have enjoyed, make sure to hit that like button down below, subscribe to the channel, and I am out.